for that. Let's talk now uh, to uh, Jawed Farouz. He's a former MP from Bahrain's the largest opposition party, Al Wefak. He's uh, one of those who had their citizen citizenship, in fact, revoked back in November. Hi there, Mr. Farouz. Thanks for being with us. I'm not sure if you heard what our correspondent had to say there, but you know, one of the main stories we're talking about today, those 21 acquittals, we think up to 28 are still in jail, even though um, they've a mixture of being acquitted, maybe in the middle of being acquitted. Um, what do you make of these acquittals today? Is it just paying lip service to the opposition or is it really good news as far as you're concerned? Uh, first of all, it is so clear that the current regime, they are manipulating with the judiciary system to use it as a political tool, sometimes to uh, freeze uh, whatever been detained under different uh, conditions, or sometimes they free them, or sometimes they give them very high punishment. It is not related to the crime they committed. The clear example of that is the, the, our uh, medics. So how come they free 21 medics today in the same time with the same charges? There are more than six to seven being imprisoned for five years. The charges were the same. And additional to that one, uh, how they will uh, take their rights that because they've been detained, they will be sacked from their jobs. And in the meantime, they've been tortured. And after uh, all this happens, they will come. They say, OK, now you are innocent, you are free. Just to get this straight, just to get this straight, as far as you're concerned, these 21 that have been acquitted so far basically uh, wasted up to two years of their lives in jail. That's the real picture, yeah? Exactly. See, the same charge has been imposed on them, imposed in, in so many prisoners, but the rest, either they've been sentenced for three years or two years or even more than that. Clear example is the, the human rights defenders, Mr. Nabil Rajab. The same charges has been imposed on Nabil Rajab, who is human rights defenders, and he's been sentenced for uh, three years. Then they, then they reduce it for two years. Well, all eyes on it. Claim... All eyes on him now. Do you think he will be freed then? I don't think so, because it is just because you know how active is he. The same thing has been the same charges which have been imposed on the medics, and now they are free. The same charge has been against me. But uh, for my case, for example, they sentenced me for 15 months in jail. And uh, addition to that one, uh, they, they report my nationality. So it is the totally double standards, and there is no spe specific independent uh, uh, judiciary system that you can uh, uh, depend on. Addition to that, because it is the, the current situation in, in country, there is a pressure, the demonstration, and allies of Bahrain still are continuing the pressure uh, on the government to find a solution through the uh, political reforms. So and ensure that whenever there are more pressure comes, maybe they will come easy with the trial sometimes. Jawad, our correspondent there, again, I'm not sure if, how much you heard from Alexei Rzhevsky. He spent a lot of time there. Um, at the end of our conversation, he basically said that it's impasse. The government said they aren't going to listen. The protesters say they're going to continue. Will the protesters at least be emboldened by these 21 acquittals now? I don't think so. They're, they're continuing their, their, their protests. Just right now, there's a demonstration in capital Manama. In the afternoon, they, um, they made more than 10 arrests, activists, and at, at night, right now, and in Bahrain, there is a, a demonstration in capital. I think the people, they are now don't bother. Either they're going to be detained or they're going to be freed. Either the medics going to be in jail or they're going to be freed. The thing is, it is just related to the political crisis. It is not a human rights issue, uh, just human rights issues. So I think the, the, the core of it, there should going to be a serious reform uh, relating to the uh, uh, people should be in power. There should be a total separation between all these uh, 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 executive authorities and uh, judiciary authorities. And at the same time, uh, 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 we can say that the, the, the legislator side. Mr. Farouz, Mr. Yes. Farouz, I'm afraid we're going to lose the line time in a minute and we might lose you completely. We're going to go to a break. But thank you ever so much for being on the programme. Okay. We do appreciate having you say. Thank you. Bye.